ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਟਿਵ ਸੁਖਮੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਕੰਪਲੀਟਡ 20 ਅਸ਼ਪਤੀ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਸੈਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਔਨ 21st ਅਸ਼ਪਤੀ ਆਲ ਰਿਸ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਆਰ ਡਿਸਕਸ਼ਨ ਔਨ 21st ਅਸ਼ਪਤੀ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਰਿਸਾਈਟ ਫਿਊ ਸਲੋਕਸ ਫਰਮ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਇਨ ਸੁਖਮੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਆਦ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮਹ ਜੁਗਾਦ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮਹ ਸਤ ਗੁਰੇ ਨਮਹ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰਦੇਵੇ ਨਮਹ ਨਿਰਗੁਣ ਆਰਿਆ ਨਿਆ ਸੋ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਸਦਾ ਸਮਾਲ ਜਿਨ ਕੀਆ ਤਿਸ ਚੀਤ ਰਖ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਿਪਹੀ ਨਾ ਉਸਤਤ ਕਰਹੈ ਅਨੇਕ ਜਨ ਅੰਤ ਨ ਪਾਰਾਵਾਰ ਨਾਨਕ ਰਚਨਾ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਰਚੀ ਬਹੁ ਭੇਦ ਅਨਿਕ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਰ ਤਜੋ ਸਿਆਨ ਪਸੁਰ ਜਨੋਂ ਸਿਮਰੋ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਰਾਇ ਇਕ ਆਸ ਹਰ ਮਨ ਰਖੋ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੁਖ ਪਰਮ ਪਾ ਜਾਇ ਸਾਥ ਨ ਚਾਲੈ ਬਿਨ ਭਜਨ ਬਿਖਿਆ ਸਗਲੀ ਛਾਰ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਕਮਾਵਨਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਇਹੋ ਤਨ ਸਾਰ ਫਿਰਤ ਫਿਰਤ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਆਇਆ ਪਰਿਆ ਤੋ ਸਰਨਾਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਕੀ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਬਿਨਤੀ ਆਪਣੀ ਭਗਤੀ ਲਾਈ so we were discussing 21st ashpadi the slok we should just look at the slok one more time on the 21st ashpadi it's very important it's talking about in in this ashpadi sadguru ji is now talking about that state of that one being what state does he resides in right there's always that confusion what what is truth what is reality what is maya and all of that right he says clearly telling that time he's even going back somewhere is about that time that state when that vahi guru was by himself there was no creation there was no pasara right there was no spreading of so sloks is sargun nirgun nirankar sun samadhi aap apan kiya nanaka pe hi fir jab he's telling he's describing him now what that itself can be a big confusion but it's, it's for this mind there is a lot of knowledge in this sargun nirungun nirankar he's saying that god himself what we call vai guru parmatma that one divine which we are talking about which gurbani talks about he's manifested unmanifested is seen unseen he's there with everything right he's sargun as well as nirgun and at one time we discussed that sargun is um when you say a drishtman right which you can see and nirgun which you cannot see is is there he's in um uh, in that thraguni maya he's in that uh, he drishtman things within that and he's there as a nirgun above that thraguns thragun te prapin sargun doesn't mean that it it means he's in the drishtman he, he's in the things you can see right but that sargun example is uh, satguru himself the satguru themselves are called the sargun swarup in previous ashpadi right we were uh, they are called the sargun swarup of parmatma of that prabhu one divine 
it has all the qualities it has but it's still in that dushman we'll talk more about it right so the um he says sun samadhi aap he himself is in that sun so his state is that sun samadhi the primal samadhi and then uh, of course that's the whole emphasis of this ashpadi is aapan kiya nanaka aap hi fir jab he has created this universe he has manifested himself in there he is the one who is in that right that jap comes he saying is meditates on himself right that's that that's so much connection with between this line it says aap hi fir jap and the existence of naam everywhere right that his naam is there and it's in in um in, in that a sense of naam thing not not Uh, that gurbani or gubani contains that naam right there are certain mantras which contain that naam but he said he is the one who is meditating on himself and that's how you can reach to him through that naam right apan kya naam ka aap hi pe jab and then uh, the other padas we went over the six padas we went over describe about um that state when there was no papun krod um uh, doubts uh, right that's his state he says when he was there when none of this was there it's also gnanak teach is very clearly clarifying also to this lot of there's been lot of scriptures right not truly the religious books but lot of scriptures which have so much knowledge and everybody in different religions um, they some of the, them talk about the essence of one towards one god you know the sense of almost every religion does talk about but they have their own myths about how this whole thing was created right like in hindu it's like brahma vishnu that three of those forces right whatever the um, shiv brahma vishnu right they they created this in the egypt there's something else in greeks there's something else they have their own myths and that kind of people start believing in that it that's you know through religion they start teaching those though that has nothing to do with the sense of the religion they start teaching those. so this is where gurunanak tries to clarify that you know that one reality is beyond that it's not based this is not based on the the world is not created because of the karmas because of this it's all under his control in a way also to tell us as humans we why we should have faith in him right so so that's what this is about we we went over the six padas uh, because they all talk about in his state what was not there and then um you know and then he oh, starts talking about in the 7th and 8th pada on how they came into existence now what we see and what we experience what is experienced by our senses um and what we feel which is within that trahagur maya he says how then he just puts it in the written that you know this is then it came after that right from him so let's go through that jah aap rache upar panch akar teh gun mein kino bis thar paap pun teh भई कहावत को नरक को सुरग बंचावत आल जाल माया जंजाल हो मैं मोह परम पै पार दुख सुख मान अपमान अनेक प्रकार आपन खेल आप कर देख खेल संकोच तो नानक एक है आप रचियो पर कार when he rachyo rach ditta created but punch what you is visible to you now drishtman a car form you know when he himself it says here when he himself fashioned the visible world of creation when that came into creation tehe gun mein kino bistar then 
that spread also happened of the tehgun all of those taguni maya we say is right this then that who in that whole creation that taguni was also inserted right that was spread in there taguni mein kino bistar paap pun teh bhai kahavat and because of that nature of that taguni which is also a reality it's not a truth but it's a reality right this is paap pun teh bhai kahavat and then when that happened then people also started talking about that started to be spoken of what oh this is pap and this is pun somebody started to weigh this as a pap that as a pun right that started to be after that tehgun then everybody has their own that perceptions of what is pap and pun started coming and you can see in different civilizations that pap pun perception keep changing even now it's changing very fast right so that's why we call that a mithya uh, also right how fast it changes in certain times something was pop it's not pop right or something was pun it's not pun so this is pop pun it then they started to being talked about this is pop this is pun you know ko narak ko swarag panchavat this is and then based on those definitions there are this narak and swarag definitions which happened and they actually happen right and beyond um, there are um, religions and whatever cults or spiritualities talk about that there's heavens and hells and they believe in there and they have that right it's it's not like that's also a part it comes within that trigon ko narak ko swarag banchavat this is then some some started to yearn for that so called hell so called heaven right uh, and heaven and hells have their own definitions in different rel- religions right heaven is the indra da darbar is heaven or something is heaven or something is narak in um, in if you go to other religions they call something heaven something hell right they have their own definitions which is true for those who believe it in a, that word true is not used as a literal word because that's where they actually end up you know and gunanak tells you no there's beyond it that's not the end of it don't end up there you know that that's kind of that's going above that thinking too from gurunanak's perspective says that's a reality he's telling us al jal maya janjal home moh param pai par this is the al jal maya janjal this is all of that janjal of maya that spreads that entanglements of maya so many things al jal you know so many different things different entanglements of maya home moh param pai par then also came that pride i'm doing this that that moh the emotional stat- attachments came param the doubts came doubts are there where right? there where where things are so changing because then you have different different evidences from different different histories or, or or whatever world you see right param doubt came pai par and there is a lot of par the the load the weight of the pai of the fear came this power that power they they became fearful of the powers of the gods goddesses of of devils demons whatever right and later on in the next Uh, and this is all kind of setting a stage from sakkar to tell us a reality and later on the rest of us but is he just tells that believe in that one vahiguru who is taking care of everybody who is the truth who is there for everyone right so then he says dukh sukh maan apman he says he says even that sufferings and that pleasures and sukh what you call that owner dishonor all of that came into existence anik prakar kyo bakhyan they were these things were being talked about in many ways anik prakar kyo bakhyan bakhyan is speaking they were described in so many ways they started to being described about right pain pleasure people just that pain pleasure that comes your karmas your existence even if um, you you don't even know why you're feeling that pain you don't even know why you're suffering that in reality you don't have to but it's in your mind it it's not belonging to you anymore you are you have transcended that maybe in this lifetime but from previous karmas you still suffer that pain 
you don't know you don't know how to how to not suffer it how to get rid of that so then what he's saying apan khel he's calling it a khel this is his sport he says this is oda khel hai oda drama hai but he's he's taking care of it he's looking at his watching over it khel sankoch hai to nanak ek hai says when he winds up his drama then again he remains one and then you go to all the previous six padas where they state the state of that one what was there in that one and then there's an indication of that sun samhad right he himself is in that sun samhad state so that that it, it in a way tells you in that sun samhad state all you are you are beyond that right no you don't feel all the time as the suman but in meditation you can feel that right because you in a way it tells you right it becomes a confusion to us what to experience what, what do we experience what are we looking for when we say oh we sit for meditation or it tells you so clearly right that is what you look for right and let's go let's finish this um and then we'll take more comments jahe abhi kat pagat tehe aap jahe pasrai pasar sant par ta duh phak ka aap tani unki shobha unhu bani aap kautak karai anad choj आपे रस पोगन निरजोग जिस पावे तिस आपन नाए लावे जिस पावे तिस खेल खिलावे बेसुमार अथा अगनत अथोले ज्यो भुलाव हो त्यो नानक दास बोले दिस पता इज अ वेरी देयर इज लिटिल मीनिंग्स बट देयर इज वेरी डीप मीनिंग्स टू इट आल्सो इन अ वे फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस पता वेयर ही सीइंग दैट ही क्रिएटेड द होल एक्सपेंस देयर इज दिस अ मोर अ वेरी डीप नॉलेज टू इट आल्सो uh if you can connect it right on uh in a way of wh- why it is created in the first two lines you know people ask like oh, why is the drama happens right and um why has he created that is jeh abigat pagat teh aap jeh abigat pagat teh aap some of them read it as jeh abigat pagat teh aap some of them read it as jeh abigat pagat teh aap and it has been translated both ways one of them which can be translated as jeh abigat pagat abigat bigat is the the human vyakti bigat is vyakti right dosto banya uh, the beyond that visible vyakti it's not in that vyakti form abigat invisible i don't know what they call it here so they didn't translate it abigat is invisible that infinite that invisible god that eternal god who is not who is not a vyakti form basically it's i think the yeah, eternal is also a good translation of it um, beyond that human uh, elements right that eternal god wherever that eternal god's pagat devotee is there up there you can find him there he is in another other way of good translation of it is that there up he is there for us it's an indication that's where we can experience him too because we need to experience him through what we can sense right and that that god brings that that's what it's trying to say right sargun roop right je pasre pasar sant parta he says he also says that whatever pasre pasar he has done whatever creation he has made spread 
that's for the glory of his saint for those who are that is for those who are connected to him devotees what it is who are his true pagats who are in alignment all that pasara spreading is happening that's why it says it's always a bliss in that state if you get connected to it he is clearly writing here that pasara is for the sant and the other thing which keeps happening is is that side thing you know as a result of it there's other elements which come into factor and then the dragon and everything else also happens like the sufferings and the separation but in that avastha in that reality that that sachidanand avastha that sun uh, avastha right that that connected avastha it's truly a bliss it's it's not like oh duk it just actually means no there's uh, you can experience more you don't you are you are uh, you don't um, feel them although they are surrounded surrounding you this is not saying that it's saying that no the truth the true world is a blissful world is the happy world for that and that's what's in the rest of the two three ashpadis and that's what gurunanak is trying to tell right it's it's that's that's what his main contribution is to towards this humanity is telling the humanity that and telling the humanity that that's yes there is that positive there is that one thing which is our right our birth right as a human you know the and then he gives you this thing a naam through which you connect to it you connect to it and throughout qurbani it says no you cannot connect to that uh, acquire that naam until you have it from sadguru right so this is duhu pak ka ape tani unki sobha unhu bani duhu pak here duhu pak Uh, is it in that sargun nirgun right it is in both of those sargun and nirgun worlds uh, no they they say just both worlds but that's the slok of this aspati he is the master of both of his sargun or nirgun uh, worlds right? which which are described unki sobha unhu bani right says then his praises are only he can he himself is um capable for his praises right unhu uh, bani it's for him only right ape kau tak kare anath choj ape ras pogan nirjo kau tak kare he himself is doing all of those kau tak actually is the more of a um, um not the plain acts but uh, ascharaj you know something which mind thinks of at oh wow wonder struck by its kind of a miracle almost to a mind or something he says he performs that kind of acts kautha kare anad choj lot of he uh, his amuse it's like his for his amusement for it's kind it's his game it's a sport choj means sport right that doing that ashrash things that kautak does x is is his to his amusement to his sport ape ras pogan nirjog he is himself there to 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 enjoy that pogan pogna consume that he is the one who is the ras pogan he is the one who is a enjoyer of those nirjog and he is the one who is nirlep of those who is beyond that who is unaffected from that jis pave tis apne nai lave very easy to translate very difficult to understand he says jinno o panda hai onu apne naam la le right and then then whenever i see this kind of um you know took in the bani i always tell if you are reading this understand you are already in his radar <laughs> right you are already in his pow that's why gurbani has the naam right he has given it somehow he has made that circumstances for it that we are you know we have to just go beyond those walls and and um, not having that faith and not following that path right this is jis pave ti sapna nai lave think of those 
who never experience this, who are always in that dragon, who never have that awakening or realization that they have to even understand what is beyond. Okay. And there are so many of those. And if you look to the collective humanity, you know there are so many of those who are completely unaware. And he is the one who causes them to play in that play too. And this is so important. Jas pasre pasar sant partap. He says all his expanse is to the glory of his saint. He says be sumar atha aganat atole jyom bulavo thu nanak das pole. That's how he describes Guru Nanak uh, Sadhguruji, right? Be sumar. Shumari nahi hai, ginti nahi hai, beyond calculation. Atha cannot reach the bottom of it. Atha samundar cannot reach. Aganat cannot count. Athola cannot weigh. Jyom bulavo tiyo nanak das bola. Such a reality in this, what he said, he says, however you have me speak, inspire me to speak about you, I am doing that. It's like whatever can words say. How else, if you have to describe such a, what is being described here, how else can you describe? Um, yeah, that's 21st Tashpati thing. Let's take more comments from the Sangat um, or any more clarifications anyone wants to add. Yeah, in, in one context, um, the last two padas basically, on one context, Bhavi is saying is he beyond the five senses that we cannot reach him, our senses cannot reach him or connect to him. On the other side, you're also saying escape. there is a possibility in the in the company of the Nam, Malik Diramanal, you can connect to him. So they are 180 degrees off from each other. How do you kind of put a head around those comments? So the reality he's telling is that Nam is there. It is within you. And, you know, that, I mean, that's, that whole Bani is about this. The whole Bani is to practice Nam. So you can go beyond that Trahegun. You know, what, what you sense, we, what you call your, our senses. And somebody asked last time about Trahegun, right? That's, that's what a human can experience. And that's why it's called the Trahegun Maya, mm. right? That's all it is. That's where we are. We are, if we are born, we born into the Trahegun Maya. We are born because of the Trahegun Maya. Mm -hmm. What Guru Nanak and what spiritual enlightened beings, they tell us is there is something beyond that. And this is how you can experience it, hmm. right? And now experiencing that Nam is different than um, going, calling something a sixth sense or calling something um, Siddhis and Riddhis and Siddhis, right? That also comes within the Maya, you know, within, within that Trahegur, there's a lot which is all, already uh, in Gurbani, it says the gods and goddesses from all that previous civilization, they are also within that Trahagun Maya. And then it says that they also all uh, uh, japo that, vahi, that one divine, right? That, that's what uh, it is saying. So, um, so it's not saying it's beyond senses, that, that beyond senses, beyond senses, which are so easy for our mind and a sixth science where your mind can get connected through, let's say, you know, this happens to people, to something and you are getting intuitions, you know, or you're able to, at certain places or certain things, you're able to uh, feel it and get the signal through your mind. Oh yeah, that this person has a sixth sense or something. No, it's even beyond that. He, he's just talking about that, that Nam, which, which is, uh, uh, above all of that, which is the, this, which connects you to that one divine, which is beyond the dragon, knowing that we are, we are inside that already, right? So, 
I think we the, the next um, Ashpadi actually very beautifully describes a lot of these um, what you are asking. I would have anybody uh, else comment to it, please. Um, Lena ji, uh, can you just uh, refresh them again? This uh, Gun, maybe I missed. If you can just refresh them that uh, background of Tregun. Tregun. Tregun is considered with, with the Maya. And like we said, um, I think the first thing is uh, to understand what is Maya. Uh, Maya, uh, so what, what there's this uh, slok, we can take the help, right? Tregun te prabhupin. What Gurbani tells is that there is one divine um, existence which is our right to get connected to, which is what every soul which is born wants to get merged into. But there is this other element which is called, which has been called Maya, right? Which is there, which is a reality, but which is not a truth that we seek, that our inner self seeks. It's a reality, but it's not a truth our inner self seeks. So that's a satcha. So that Maya is different from that satcha which Gurbani, you know, uh, talks about. Uh, uh, that comes, Sacha comes and the Maya comes. So that's Maya, right? So now that Trahegun is how that Maya is described uh, further. Okay, so, and that's so easy. Uh, that's easy for us to kind of, um, most of these things are categorized at three, you know, like um, uh, Patal Akash, Tarti, uh, Tarta Patal Akash, right? Sat, so Rajo Tamo Sato is what the Maya is, right? Rajo Tamo Sato are the three guns of Maya. Yeah. And then um, it says all the minds, all the consciousness and everything that exist within this, right? So the um, Satvik which is uh, supposed to be the highest level of that, the pure, pure level. It's a pure without impurities. It's, it's illuminating, free from sickness, and it binds the soul through attachment with happiness as knowledge. It's a balanced, calm, goodness, pure, non-violent nature. But it's, it, it can be a nature of um, so many great beings which, which have come on uh, right so it's a good nature one of that right so the other one is a rajasvik which is very passionate uh, you know that's how they describe uh, something which is passionate the, having a lot of desire to acquire things kinds of restless activity but then rajas rajas right that tamo uh, that is def rajas is defined as something which is full of passion right and and um, but it is that that soul that existence is still born out of thirst so this is all the existences of so within this world can right that also is within tribe how is this how are how is this thing born right and, and it's, it's born out of thirst or intense desire or attachment so there are different levels if you consider tamas some of the souls they are born through this they're born right and they're they're born in, with all of this, the recklessness, some laziness. So that's how it's described, the Tehagun. And then within those three behaviors, there's a lot of things get, get categorized. Even the food we eat gets categorized. Even the consciousness gets categorized. Even the souls which are born get categorized. Um, so that's how they call Tehagun. Uh, but whenever you see hear Tehagun in Guru Granth Sahib, it's talking about Maya, not about such about truth. Right. So, but this, uh, if I see, this is more or less applicable to the human being, like non it is, it is the human. Being. Yeah, this is Tehagun is described for anybody who is born as as human, right? As uh, uh, that's what Tehagun is. We are born into this world, which is a Maya world, but we have to, according to Gubani, but we have to understand what is the truth which is underneath it. Okay, thank you. Hena. So thank it you, says Dina. that uh, the, 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 there's a sea and the waves. We have to realize that sea while we are a part of the waves. We, we are coming in as a wave, but we have to realize that sea under us. And that's what Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji is talking about, that avastha that is above these three avasthas. Or of consciousness, you can call it avastha of consciousness is this waking, dreaming, deep sleep, awakened consciousness also. 
right but and when you mean, realize uh, i guess uh, want to add the uh, all the ayurvedic medicine is also based on these three if i read it about it hanji and that's very important i mean we are car- carrying this human body the first thing is we have to raise this body to a sattvic balanced level right up and that way best to devo right so ode vichon jehde dusre gun so these are all very important things to even know right we are dealing with this uh, and of course gurbani says that oh naam if you f- have a true meditation true connection to the naam like gurbani itself says it's it's a naam itself that balances us out but ayurvedic uh, uh, even food even food food is separated you know as this food will bring to your body tamasic gun this food can bring to your body rajasic feelings or sattvic feelings so that's why it is because it is a, it's a it's about a matter it's how that's what the world is right so it's a reality okay. it's nothing yeah. it's yeah thank you dinan hanji um, atarji if you wanted to add something to the discussion please um, yeah these three uh, seems like these are conducts behavior sattvic rajvic tamasic these are conducts what we do these are like behavior these are characteristics of the behavior so what i think what bani is telling us it's trying to tell us that the is the state of your mind is what is important and not the behavior behavior is always in creation and maya but the state of mind or consciousness the avastha the sahaj avastha is the ultimate goal of bani for uh, humanity to reach is that avastha and not the conduct via conduct it, that cannot be reached and the conducts are you know this balance calm goodness non violent uh, puja part these uh, and then passions desires these are all the they are all kind of conducts of the behaviors so maya wants i mean body wants us to rise above the behaviors to the state of consciousness or awareness which is eternal non changing uh, with time uh, which is naam ekankar sach khand all those things are states of awareness and they are not conducts of that uh, somebody is angry not angry is calm yeah, somebody is doing good behavior bad behavior all they have to rise above that to a state of awareness so the difference is awareness versus conduct these are maya is conducts are maya thank you i mean to that uh, like you said the state of the mind um, itself right the man tu jyot swarup hai apna mool pehchan then this man har ji tere naal hai gurmati rang man is trying to keep telling that mind that you have everything you know leave all of these other these kind of conducts right rise above that um yeah mm-hmm. thank you ji thank you sure. han ji i think we sh- we can move on to the so the next hush for these is just again it's is these are more um, i think this described a lot about um what we you know this is what is that one divine right and what is the difference between that one divine and everything else kind of for us to uh, understand um in a way right for our mind to be able to get that message the rest the, the rest of the ashpadis is just Uh, it is just praising it's just praising that um um uh, vaiguru and telling us once again the reality of 
so that we have that faith you know that faith doesn't go away that 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 is there's one divine there's that one existence there's one power who is taking care of everything and who, who's in whose control is everything right so so uh, realize that right that's for more for a persuasion for that i'll just recite um the shlok shlok जीजंत के ठाकरा आपे वर्तन हार नानक एको पसरे आर दूजा कहे दृष्टार सो इन द श्लोक इटसेल्फ ही जस्ट क्लेरिफाइंग जीजंत के ठाकरा आपे वर्तन हार जी ओ बीइंग जंत ओ Oh, creation, whatever is that, you know, the species and all creatures. Right? That's a good. G beings or creatures, K Thakura, oh master of all of these beings and creatures. That's what he calls him. Ape Vartan Har, you are everywhere. You are prevailing. You are pervading everywhere. Nanak Eko Pasreya. So in in what. Guru Nanak is saying that he sees that one and only pervading everywhere. Duja kahe drishtar. He says, where is any other to be seen even? Right, and that's knowing that distinction. Right, so it, it, it this is of course I think something we just need to accept, and the knowledge comes, you know, on uh, with um, as as we go to our state, you know, different states with our. path but that's what he's saying nano eko pas nanak eko pasreya there is only one pervading where is any other to be even seen and that's one again i related to that previous he says that whole pasara is for uh, that whole creation which is happening is for you know it says that um, sant for for the pagat right is that creation is being created it's expanding for those who are in devotion in the it, the word is devotion and slave but those who are in connection with that one consciousness right and then there are other things which pulls it on the other direction and that's where it keeps telling you keep going on the right direction along with that and then everything will come to you ashtpati aap kathe aap sunne har aap hai ek aap bisthar जातिस पावे ता सृष्ट पाए आपने पाणे लय समाए तुम ते पिन नहीं किछ होए आपन सूत सब जगत परोए जाको प्रभ जियो आप छाए सच नाम सोई जन पाए सो समदर्शी तत का बेता नानक सगल शिष्ट का जेता ही सिस आप कथे आप सुनने हार आप ही एक आप विस्तार think he's the one who is the speaker and he's the one who is listening who is the sunnehar who is the listener aap ek aap vistar he himself is the one and he himself is in all what he has done in all his creation in the many in 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 that's the state when it says the devotees and the sons and when it says they are he sargun in those devotees and those sons is because now through them he is manifested and they have realized it through them that he is manifested he is in them and they have realized it and because they have realized it so we can feel that we can experience that too but the fact is that he is the one who is the speaker and he is the one who is listener then what happens what when when we do when we say it upon us 
No, we are not in that state. We are not in that state of that Satguru that when Satguru says something, it is coming from um, is Turki Bani. That's what this line means. But he says, yes, if we realize, if we get awakened, we become that too, because we have that. But we haven't realized it. That's why we are, because we are connected to the Maya, right? We, where is all, every cell of our existence vibrates in Maya. We wanted to vibrate with Nam so that we can experience this. But this is the fact that Aap Kathe Aap Sunnehar. He himself is a speaker, he himself is a listener. Ape ek ap pistar. He himself is the one and he himself is the many. Jatis pave ta shish tu pai apne pane lay samai. It's when it pleases him, he creates this world. And when it pleases him, he merges it back into himself. And then at least there's so many things our mind can perceive. We know not through through history we know to some extent but through religious scriptures we know this and those are not accepted at history but uh, and to some extent yes uh, how many times the civilization has been created and it has again collapsed right and, and you call it collapse or destroyed but it calls it merged into one right in somewhere in some scriptures written, it's 84 times. Um, it's different scriptures have different um, uh, things about and history has its own, right? Tumte, and, and sometime they will align for sure. You know, it, that's happening already. There's a lot of, lot of um, discoveries and all keeps happening, right? So, Tumte pin nahi kich hoye, apan sut sab jagat paroye. Then he says, Tumte pin, without you, nothing, nahi kich hoi, nothing happens. Tumte pin, nahi kich hoi, apan sut sab jagat paroi, you are the one who have strung the whole world in your thread. And then it says, Right, and all of this is so connected from the previous, um, right? It's, it's before we get to this so nicely, Sadhguruji, he has tried to explain to us that existence of that one and the existence of this world where we are in, and then why there's Maya and why there's one divine existence that which he says. If we connect to it, there's happiness in this, right? Because that's what all is in his control. We just need to connect to it. Jaco, it's it's us who go away from his control because we have that choice, right? Jaco prabhijo ap bujhai such naam sui janipai. He says, to whomever that Vahe Guru, Bujadinda, Samjadinda, make them understand. Such Nam Sui Janpai, those people, they obtain that true name. And then mostly, I mean, that, so, who, all Banis are complete by itself, right? Sukhni so, Sahib there is this slope which says, Lage An Swai, right? That's where we are. And then it, there's a Bainti. Lage Answai, we are just doing other things. We are not going towards your path. Give us, you know, that, that smut so that we go on your path. We do things for why we are here. Right? We do things in your connection. Jaku Prabhu Apujai says to whosoever he's able to make them understand. Once they understand, that understanding is so important for the mind, uh, you know, that the existence of this body, mind, soul, they are so connected that that understanding is important for, for one to realize that now. Yatao understanding has to be very logically known with all details, or it comes by just, it's just it's your ingredient, you just accept it. And then a lot of people are blessed with that because they're born into it or, or they just accept it. And then there for them, there's a just next step of experiencing it. 
but lot of us they don't truly accept it manne right manne ki gat kahi na jaye right they are they are blessed with that manna ki eta hai and then they go they are proceeding towards the next thing already right oh kirpa hai right when you say oh why, how am i different than other yes there there is a kirpa there that that um, uh, you know there's somebody is you says gifted or something right there's a genius flows the, the genius is not a, a thing right when you practice enough uh, on any subject now their genius starts flowing or there is a prodigy <laughs> right um i got a request for some zoom i just rejected that i don't know somebody must have done it by mistake so yeah i lost my thought so say, yes aap sach naam soi jan pai this that's those are the beings who actually get in truth sense the sach naam so samdarsi tat ka beta nanak sagal shishth ka jeta so samdarsi he is clarifying to us that that one uh, god samdarsi equally sees everyone darsi darshan karna see everybody he sees everyone equally tat ka beta tat the essence the reality he knows beta he understands the reality of everything right that sargun nirgun and through him that sargun roop that sun devotees they understand right that's the understanding and that understanding is it's just the translation knowing the meanings it's also clearly straightforward way written in gurbani right and then once you understand it then the realization slowly comes that it's very important somebody feeds that information to your mind right so so samdarsi tat ka beta is says that one divine is samdarsi he is impartial tat ka beta and is he knows the essential reality nanak sagal shisht ka jeta he is the conqueror he conquers the whole world there is nobody beyond him and you have it and you have him so he's just trying to elevate the humanity to a different level right and to to know that give that knowledge and that's so who else can give this knowledge than satguru and um, let's move on i i see some uh, information in the chat i can just go over it if you haven't <laughs> okay i i see very interesting comments from uh, kovinder singh ji i don't know if you want to say it or you want me to just repeat it it's um... yeah you're talking about the watching say superhero living his life his life was a human yeah okay so uh, talking about superheroes right so see gurbani even japji sahab they're not denying they're saying there is dev right uh, it says uh, he even says there is this uh, he is no narte narto devte banata to you know to satguru to satguru's bani there this this took right you have because of your bani I have become from a nar from a human to a dev so dev is a elevated state with powers then the and uh, is is nowhere is not saying it's all saying these are uh, the the higher level than the humans but um gurbani also tell us as human there there is so much more you are above all of that you can be above all of that because you have this human body that uh, uh, in a human body somebody gets that power or those power exists he says surnar munjan amrit loch de amrit gurte paya he says dot sura nar mun jan you know all of those angels beings all of that they also yearn for a human body because they have realized the value of it right so and then you get that human body then you experience all of that right so that's what that that's what you know just repeating okay what else is here six values image here values okay we'll look at it <laughs> sometime 
if you want to describe anything, uh, Kavinderji, you can do that. Um, okay, we'll move on. Ji jantra sab ta ke haat, din dayal naat ko naat, jis raak hai, tis koi na maray, so mua jis manho bisaray, tis taj avar kaha ko jai, sab sir ek niranj nirai, जी की जुगत जाके सब हाथ अंतर बाहर जानो साथ गुन निधान बेअंत अपार नानक दास सदा भुलहार जी चंत्र सब ताके हाथ दीन दयाल अनाथ को नाथ since all the beings, creatures are in his hand, Take Hat. Deen Dayal Anat Konat. And he clarifies that he is the Dayal, he's the kind, merciful to the meek, to the poor. And he is the master for the Nath, for those who have no body. He is the Nath for the Anat. Jis rakhe, tis koi na mare. So muajis manu visare. He says, he's there to protect you. And if he's there to protect you, there's nobody else who can kill you. Nobody else can kill those who are protected by him. So mua jis manu visare. But those who have forgotten that God, who don't know that reality existence, who haven't at least realized that, he says they are like dead. Because then, then nobody's protecting them, right? We saw that in Asa Diwar, right? It's like, it's like a weed with no master. You don't know who is controlling you. Right? He says, now after telling all of this about that one reality he says now without you leaving you taj taj means i leave you avar kaha ko jai where else can i go sab sir ek niranjan rai he says that one niranjan without any impurity without any black anjan right without any that immaculate pure king rai raja rai right sab sir ek that one is there for everyone go seek him ask him just for but the gurbani keeps telling to that one reality right? have faith in him ji ki jugat ja ke sab hat he said ji ki jugat whatever jugat ways and means are required are essential for any being is all in his hands antar bahar jano sat why don't you know this that he is inside you he's outside know of him that he is there inwardly outwardly know that he is with you it's our, it's that not knowing that causes us a pull towards that maya right that's that binds pull towards maya gun nidhan byant apar he's Gun virtues, nidhan, there's a treasure of virtue. It's this ocean of excellence. Beant apar, his beant, koi ant nahi hai, no end, infinite, apar. Par nahi hai, koi pare, pare to pare, endless. That's what he is. Nanak das, sada balihar. Then, O oh, Nanak das, I am your servant, I am your devotee, and I'm always sacrifice to you balhar it's very important we have a minute we so his translation is called sacrifice to you i surrender myself to you balhar you are so much impressed by something somebody or something 
you are you say you any any power energy you have you want to give it to him har gaye apni sari power bal har ditta uste you have what is power what is the final power left the breathing power then it's that's why it says ki i am sacrificed to you mai mari gaya you know that's why they call it a bar so that's a balihar word you know everybody translates it so many different ways but that's a sense of that word right apna appa war ditta somebody says mai i mai tade utte mar gaya i i have surrendered to you i have sacrificed but that's what it is my any power i have with me i will give it to you har ditti i am so impressed so wonderstruck by you right yeah i think we are at the hour any any more um, comments or sharings we can hear please i'd see if ataj yeah ataj you want to say something then we can wrap up maybe oh uh, let's just one observation um, i think paul g asked earlier a question about the also there was mention in the pada about the sensory reality the senses um so just a thought the this senses only measures change mm -hmm. like any instrument even thermometer which says your temperature is 100 degrees it does not say that it is 100 degrees it measures a change mm -hmm. so it's it's a cal calibrated to a zero point which is defined as zero point and when you have differ from that you say this much is change so you say because from this calibration you measure and it's 100 degrees but 100 degrees by itself is not an absolute reality it's a it's a calibration so like we calibrate our clock to a daylight time so the clock is not measuring time it's is not saying this is the absolute time it's only ticking and telling you how much is changing from that reference where you have calibrated so that's very important to understand when bani says the eternal reality is what is not changing so since senses can only measure change so senses have to be subdued mm -hmm. to realize and be aware of what is not changing because the moment the senses are on mind is on is measuring the sensory changes you are putting cloud on that is what is not changing Very so that ekankar and satnam what is such khand is what is not changing in time that's eternal reality mm -hmm. so all the thoughts minds senses all have to be sub subdued to zero frequency they all have to be inactivated to realize what is not changing and that is what bani calls sahaj avastha or the samyak as it is samdrishti siddhi word in in buddhism that is called samyak drishti samyak drishti means it's a an a completely wholesome vision but what is changing it fragment it fragments the that wholesome vision like clouds in the sky fragments the sky the the blue skies the, which is all wholesome uniform uh, homogeneous things gets fragmented into clouds and blue skies brown sky, i mean white skies black clouds same way senses cloud that eternal reality which is not changing to fragments into what is changing so we can call that relative or temporal reality clouding the eternal reality which is not changing mm -hmm. so which is maya is actually the relative or temporal reality changing in space and time mm -hmm. so in a way mm -hmm. those tragun they my uh, bani is talking about that tra tragun you can call mass space and time his creation 
everything that is created has mass space and time those are three qualities of maya hanji no, uh -huh. very very nicely explained um tarji thank you there is um one thing i would want to add um just with the same thought right we say eternal and then we say forever so with that same measurement calibration thing eternal is eternal it's not forever right but that forever has that time thing in there that's one thing the other thing i would want to just rephrase that senses um senses to be subdued or senses to be you have to transcend them to the next level or you have to use your senses to um to experience the next level too so you observe your, those senses it can be a sadhana that sadhana is controlling your senses sadhu jinne apni oh jehde sadhu hunde hai na subdued i just got with the word but that's what you mean subdue you have to control them sadh liya sadh sang sadhu ke hunde jinne senses sadh liya wo sadhu hunde matlab unnu sadh lo control kar liya but because you are in this dragon maya you have to use them also to that's why it says the sunar munjan they they long for this human body gurbani says deh chad kar deh kodi chad har paya gurbani makes such a value to this human body this deh itself he says is given to you through this you will realize it says ban bande no that's what they want to gurbani keeps it is very important through it through this through this senses through this day you you bring your consciousness to next level mm -hmm. but <clears throat> yes i mean um that's that's very in a way very well put um that that calibration thing and i just want really? to add that forever thing to it <laughs> yeah lena but then also babajit bandi also saying jisnu malik di marzi hai jisnu do se rehmat karni hai राइट so that's there's a difference there okay it's, it's, gurbani says but we don't only just request uh, mm -hmm. that you know no spirituality says only request spirituality says practice sadhana sadhu sant all of this there's a lot of work in it which needs mm -hmm. to be done it says it's not an easy path mm -hmm. and and okay. samajh ke surt jod ke surt jodni hai we samajh ke what is happening awareing being aware it's not um it's not only it is re requesting is essential but it's not only factor mm. okay also bani says uh, uh, jichar mukat na hovai titar uh, whatever this mukat na hovai jichar shabad na kare vichar vichar bani art tells you that you have to vichar to get to the bottom of it vichar means you have to be skeptic you will not vichar je tusi man liya ke ha ji yeah this is it then you are done you are not going to get to the bottom of it so bani is telling you us that you have to vichar means be a skeptic question it understand get to the bottom of it and that takes effort सो ए जो मन्ने मन्ने की गति कही ना जाए ए मैं लेक्चर सुनिया महापुरुष इसे मन्ने डज नॉट मीन एक्सेप्ट मन ने मीन्स डिजोल्व द माइंड मन ने मीन्स डिजोल्व द माइंड इट्स एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग वेरी डेलिकेट वेरी वेरी डेलिकेट Yeah. Mind accepts. Mind, the home accepts. Oh, yeah, I, I, I mind it. Because that home gets a satisfaction by saying that I have no mind it. And he, and I, I just want to repeat. Kavinder, you put a very good point. It says, "Be in gratitude." 
and of course all this in gratitude is 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 a blessing right that has to be always there that gratitude comes and that's what we have full control on we should keep counting on what happens what, what is gratitude you know it it allows you to see god because you are accepting that he's you know there's somebody doing something for you you know that that itself is is your um uh, progress in that path right that's why that's very important um that acceptance with gratitude but not a blind acceptance that's what you also said last time which i just very important okay we are 10 minutes over <laughs> we can wrap up okay. thank, thank you ji why ji ka call sab okay thank you thank you lina ji thank you ji thank you Thank you everyone.